Truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. The God of Israel says, let my people go. He brings utter darkness into the light. Let there be light. I say repent! Go! The Lord will watch over us! Go now! <laughs> Bring down your warriors, Lord! It would be better to die in Egypt than to die in the wilderness! <laughs> Go throughout the earth! Don't torture me! Where is your God? After the tremendous godly and worldly success of the Bible experience. It meant a lot to me to get called back to come in and pick up the new translation. We have incorporated a, an international cast. Seek the Lord and live, or he will sweep through the tribes of Joseph like a fire. Well, the Bible is the living word of God, and so to take it off the page in an audio format, I think, honors God and transforms lives. Once you have the Bible with you all the time, you can be standing in line at a store, or you can be at home, or you can be waiting on an appointment, and suddenly you're looking through your phone and you've got access to God's Word. And so the more you read it, the more it comes alive in you, and it's, um, it's availability mixed with the power of it, I believe is life-changing. I think any time anybody, whether they've got great influence or very little influence, uh, gives, uh, gives life to the Word of God, I think it's great. And I'm excited to see people with great influence leveraging their influence to get the Word out, capital W. Sometimes when people read, their mind drifts and they may not understand something, but we know in the first chapter of the Bible, one of the first things we know that God did is He spoke. And it was with His spoken Word that everything came to be. And I believe when His Word is spoken aloud, um, we don't just hear it with our ears, but we can hear it in our hearts. And I believe that's what's going to happen through this experience, as people will hear and experience the Word and be transformed as they hear it in their hearts. Well, it's thrilling to me, not only that we can get the Word out through the YouVersion Bible app, but that we've got celebrities and stars and people from different races and different parts of the world and different denominations all coming together and say, we're. We're lifting up the Word of God, and we're going to do anything we can to get the Word out. And it is going to get out, and it is going to transform lives. Surely your God is the God of gods, and the Lord of kings, and a revealer of mysteries. For you were able to reveal this mystery. Immediately, he received his sight, and followed Jesus, praising God. When all the people saw it, they also praised God. Hi, I'm Patricia Heaton, and I just finished recording the roles of Sarah and Mary Magdalene. Oh, God has brought me laughter, and everyone who hears about this will laugh with me. Who would have said to Abraham that Sarah would nurse his children, yet I have borne him a son in his old age? So many people, particularly um, with Everybody Loves Raymond, because it's been on for so long now, uh, so many people have said, your show was the highlight of our week when my father was dying from cancer or when we were going through a tough time and we knew we could look forward to your show and you made us laugh and you brought some light into our lives. And that's another blessing of, of, of you know, I get satisfaction just from going and acting, but then to hear that it has this residual effect for people is, is so wonderful. What I've loved in um, reading through scripture on my own and recording it here and being able to bring it to life um, is seeing how flawed um, the heroes of the Bible are. And I think we all need to know this because I think um, it's easy to get discouraged when we fail and fall. And it's easy to try to be doing everything ourselves instead of just trying to remain in a constant open position to, to God and to his presence and to his influence in our lives. And, you know, he's given us all different personalities and different gifts. and. He's given us a brain to use them. It really helps to um, 
hear uh, scripture in a new way, maybe some scriptures that we've heard so many times, they're sort of meaningless to us when you hear it, in, you know, a new version. And then, in particular, when you hear it aloud with actors doing it and you have this wonderful sort of sound effects in the back and it sort of takes you right to that time and it makes it very real so that these people don't become, aren't just historical figures, but they become real to you and you understand that we are all connected through all these generations, through the history of, of Christ's people. Be still and know that I am God. My name is Alex Warner and I've just completed the role of God. Look at the nations and watch and be utterly amazed for I am going to do something in your days that you would not believe, even if you were told. Yesterday we, 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 we finished off and, and we got finally to the New Testament after we, we've spent nine, you know, we've, we've, we've been working for quite some time now and we finally got to the New Testament. Um, and and when, when God says, I, I think here is my son with whom I'm, I'm well pleased, that was a very, um, that was a very, emotional moment and a, and, a, and, a, and a beautiful moment as well. This is my son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. This is a message of hope, a message of new chances, a message of making oneself better as an individual, um, and a message of solidarity working together, looking after each other. That's, that's the, the message for me. My eyes and my heart will always be there. Well, as soon as I heard about the opportunity to come in and, and record this role uh, and saw what this project is, um, because what, what they're doing is really ambitious um, in the most wonderful way. They're doing something enormous and, and huge and telling these epic stories and doing it in a theatrical way that I think will really connect with people and I, and I wanted to be a part of it. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And talking about what it's like to, to play Jesus in something like this, I mean, uh, it's, it's an enormous undertaking and uh, it really hit me on the first day when, you know, uh, I get handed the script and it's literally this thick. And that's only the first book. There's another, there's another binder. Um, so, you know, really hit home as to how much work we had to do. Um, and then for me, uh, you know, I really wanted to find and showcase uh, the simple humanity of of the man, um, because and he talks a lot about it in the book, about how he is a man for a large portion of the story. Um, and, uh, you know, there is a time where he's ascended to heaven and, and where, you know, I felt more liberated to go a little grander. The kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the good news. I play Augie Anderson on COVID Affairs, and one of the things that you're forced to do when you lose your sight um, is you're forced to rely on your other senses. Um, there's, a, there's a letting go that has to happen, which is also something that's talked about a lot in the Bible, um, letting go of things past, um, and embracing where you are, uh, and adapting. Um, there's a faith to it as well. On my show, my character on my show uh, is, uh, is great at tech. I'm not great at tech, but I know a little bit about it. Um, and I, I think that, you know, the changes that happen in technology and how fast things are moving, uh, it, it's a double-edged sword, but the, 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 uh, the great thing about it is it, it can be such a great equalizer. Tell me, which of us is on the side of the king of Israel? Stop chasing me! <laughs> Are you greater than our father Abraham? Sing to the Lord and praise his name. Proclaim his salvation day after day. The Bible says how beautiful are the feet 
of those who come to preach the word. And we have some beautiful feet on this project. The pastors that have come forth and said, I want to be a part of it. They were so proud to be a part of an international cast. I love um, Twitter because every day, the people that I follow, great speakers, great mentors, great coaches, always have something. There's so many words of encouragement for me. Instagram, I love connecting with people on Instagram. Now to be able to have the, these outlets to take and promote and encourage people. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord and praise His name. Proclaim His salvation day after day. We work sometimes so hard at trying to stay connected to God, but we don't always plug in the right resources. We try to do it ourselves. Well, you're gonna fail when you do it yourself, but when you surround yourself with the Word of God, be disciplined about it. He said to her, daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. For us to be able to encourage people through Twitter, through Facebook, through the internet, it's, it's so exciting to see how far God's gonna take this when we become His mouthpiece and share it with the world. This is the glory of all His faithful people. Praise the Lord. Jude, a servant of Jesus Christ and a brother of James, to those who have been called, who are loved in God the Father and kept for Jesus Christ. I believe this is a project that's going to live on long after I'm off the scene and uh, really a legacy for my own children and for members of our church uh, to be able to hear too. And the Bible includes the skepticism of Solomon, the systematic reasoning of Paul, the emotional outburst of David, and all of that is beautifully captured in the Bible. I would never diminish the importance of the written Word of God. God gave His message in writing, the graphe, all Scripture graphe is inspired by God. But I don't think it's an either-or situation. I still think listening uh, audibly to the Word of God is important too. Romans 10 says, faith comes by hearing, hearing the Word of God. Dear friends, although I was very eager to write to you about the salvation we share, I felt compelled to write and urge you to contend for the faith that was once for all entrusted to God's holy people. Jesus thought it important to hide God's Word in His heart. How much more per important is it for us to do so? And you know, the reason Jesus quoted Scripture uh, to Satan's temptations was not because of Satan, uh, Satan is not afraid of God's Word. It's not what the Scripture did to Satan, it's what the Scripture did for Jesus Himself. It strengthened His resolve to say no to the evil one. And if we're going to have that same resolve in our life, it is important that we immerse ourselves in the truth of God's Word. To the only God our Savior be glory, majesty, power, and authority through Jesus Christ our Lord before all ages, now and forevermore. Amen. No, my friends, don't do this wicked thing. Look, I have two daughters who have never slept with a man. Let me bring them out to you, and you can do what you like with them. But don't do anything to these men, for they have come under the protection of my roof. I realize Lot has to offer up his daughters to these evil men to try to save these angels. And I felt my, my whole insight just turn upside down. And in that moment, I was thinking, what would it take for me to offer up my daughters? What kind of pain and torment would be happening inside of me? And so I felt, in that sense, responsible to read that role because I wanted to be someone, I wanted to be a father who knew the pain of that moment. No. No, please, listen, listen, please, wait, no, no, take, take my daughters, but do not, do not touch these men, no, please, wait, wait, no. Even though I was the negative voice, the, and since the, the darker voice in Job's story, I was just reminded how many times there are negative voices that speak into our lives and try to overshadow what God is actually trying to say to us and do in our lives. And that, for me, was really important to um, resonate that voice that will remind us not to listen to any voice except the voice of God in our life. Even when they're leaving the city and Lot knows that his wife has been turned into a pillar of salt, just that, that, that agonizing moment where you know 
you can't do anything, that you're powerless, and you don't even have the luxury of a meaningful goodbye. You literally have to walk away because if you look back, if you turn back, your life will be lost too. And that for me was an incredibly vivid and painful moment. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my lord. Thank you. Quickly, quickly, move. Move quickly, do not look back. Look forward, do not look back. Do not look back. Move. Let's go. Quickly, move. Let's go. <laughs> move. Walk. Go. One of the amazing things about the world in which we live right now is that there are so many different mediums through which people can get access to what they need. I've been amazed how many people tell me, you know, we download your talks and we, we're running in the gym. We're running on the elliptic machine. I'm running across the city. What this is going to do, it's going to provoke, this, I think, the, the, the divine imagination. When a person goes through the scriptures, those scriptures are going to come to life. Those readings provoke the engagement of both the imagination and the soul. I, I'm convinced people are not only gonna learn the Bible, but they're gonna experience the narrative of the scriptures. They're gonna be brought into those moments. But as for me, afflicted and in pain, may your salvation, God, protect me. I am overwhelmed with troubles and my life draws near to death. I am counted among those who go down to the pit. I am like one without strength. My whole relationship with Jesus started in a prison cell, and it's amazing how I could get into a prison cell and Jesus Christ can come into my life and set me free. And I spent five years in prison from there studying the Word of God every single day. I got saved two weeks into my five-year sentence. I got released in 2004 and was ordained a pastor in 2005. And I've been serving God ever since. Basically, I go around and I speak at churches all around the world, share my testimony, and then they want to see me skateboard because that's really the world that I came from. It's my celebrity, and I think that's an amazing tool to be able to use as a vehicle and a platform to preach the gospel to this generation. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart. I will glorify your name forever, for great is your love toward me. It is a way to connect with people through the faces of people who have been known by them, who they may trust, who they may look at and go, I don't mind listening to something that they have been a part of. And that right there is an angle that God can use to get into the hearts of people for them to accept his love through his son Jesus. And that is beautiful. And I think that this is a project that is, is almost something that you can't create on your own. God had to be a part of it. Lord, you are the God who saves me. Day and night I cry out to you. May my prayer come before you. Turn your ear to my cry. This is the perfect way to get into the hearts and minds of people through an audio set that will change people's lives for all eternity. Hearing it in my headphones as I'm recording, really complimented what was going on dramatically. The Lord Himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. There's music and there's sound effects and there's the, the intention of the lines. And so when all that comes together, it's exhilarating. <laughs> when you hear human emotion applied to the language, which is Shakespearean in nature, you hear this whole other thing open up and you understand it on a visceral level, on a guttural level. It's such a beautiful thing to take all these characters that you've read and to be able to find out the emotion that they were going through. I'm convinced people are not only gonna learn the Bible, but they're gonna experience the narrative of the scriptures. They're gonna be brought into those moments. Can you fathom the mysteries of God? Can you probe the limits of the Almighty? I think by hearing other actors act it out, it clarifies some things, the phrasing of some things, uh, the emphasis that are put on certain words. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, 
Everybody's going to relate to a various, to a passage or a personage in different ways. To read those words and feel those emotions at the same time, you feel as though God for maybe a moment is touching you and blessing you. Keep me safe, my God, for in you I take refuge. The wonderful thing about the Bible is that it's always relevant, no matter where we are or what time we're in. Just being part of something that regardless of the format is hopeful and inspirational and will feed people in the best way that they can be fed. It's awesome. We're putting together something that will outlast all of us. The actors, the producers, the directors, the editors, the musicians, just everyone connected with this project. I think when you listen to it, you will know that this comes from their heart. This is a family of believers who have come together to do this. There is no one person responsible. It is a collaboration of love. The bigger the movie, the weaker the story can get sometimes. What I love about uh, this Bible project is that we're getting back to the story. In fact, we're getting back to the greatest story ever told. This is a project that you can't create on your own. God had to be a part of it. The music, the sound, the voice, the emotion. How did Sarah feel? How did Moses feel? It is so powerful. It really is a holy experience. It's necessary. Incredible. It's beautiful. Blessing. Motivational. A message of hope. A learning opportunity. It sparks life. It's a gift. This is the perfect way to get into the hearts and minds of people through an audio set that will change people's lives for all eternity. If you've missed it, it's your own fault.